All right, everybody, who's ready for some more Blackpink? You know, so I lost a freaking Blackpink over here, and what are we doing? We're checking out the revolution, a story of Blackpink. This one goes over to Jason Tyra. Let's go. Asian Theory presents. Shout out to the Asian Theory for putting together this video. Be sure to follow the link down below and subscribe to them as well, okay? Show them some love. Oh, la Lisa. There they are, sitting on top of the world. This is a pretty cool intro, I like it. I can't wait to get some more Blackpink stuff. When's their next album? Comment down below if you know when they're gonna be dropping some more music. Look at them. They run the game, everybody. They run the game. 34 music show wins, the most viewed YouTube video ever in the first 24 hours. First K-pop group to hit 1 billion views, the most listened to wow. female K-pop artist on Spotify. The yep. most successful K-pop girl group concert of all time. Ooh. The best charting K-pop girl group of all time. The most popular K-pop girl group of all time. And Ooh. their name is Blackpink. Black 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 Taking Black the world by storm. Yup. Here we go. Let's get another history lesson in Blackpink. This is gonna be freaking awesome. Blackpink is a name that's known all over the world. They are the hottest group in K-pop right now. Yeah. But what makes Blackpink so special? There have been other groups with a girl crush concept and other groups with a hip hop concept. What did Blackpink do that started this revolution? Yeah, let me know, buddy. Come on, let's go. The rise of Blackpink. Let's go, everybody. I have watched some of their backstory videos. In 2011, but that a was group a called Twenty years ago. One released their hottest single ever, called "I Am the Best." The group Ooh. was on fire to become one of the most successful girl groups of all time. Oh, okay. By the end of their career, they had 700,000 sales, 43 music show wins, and six tesangs. Twenty One's career had just begun to take off. 21. In July of 2012, YG released a video called "Future 21," and many fans interpreted this as YG getting ready to start a brand new girl group despite Ooh. 21 being brand new themselves, and That's they were right. Weird. The next month, YG released a video introducing a certain girl by the name of Jenny Kim. This okay. would be the beginning of his fresh new girl group, Pink Punk. Yes, Pink Punk. you heard me right, huh. Pink Punk. Okay. So after a series of teasers, reveals, and rumors, it was speculated that Pink Punk would be a nine member group. Nine members so who exactly were these no. nine rumored members? A name you might be familiar with is Yuna Kim, you might recognize her from the girl group The Ark, and more recently the duo Khan. She was also on the reality show Superstar K3, <laughs> on Pretty Rap Stars 3, and The Unit. Next wow, is Park okay. Jinny, who finished 69th in Produce 48, and is now in the group what? Secret Number. Then we have soloists Jang Hana and Kim Unbi. And lastly, Cho Myeon. Yes, that Myeon. Main vocalist of G-Idol, and Ari of KDA. Oh. Slowly, well, okay, one by okay. one, these five members were removed from the group. Until... Really? May of 2016, four years after Pink Punk was introduced, we were left okay. with these four names. Jenny Kim, main rapper, the face of the group, and the first revealed official member. Okay. Next we had Lalisa Manoba from La Thailand. Lisa, Lisa debuted everyone's... as the main dancer and lead rapper of the group and was the first non-Korean- How can you have two lead rappers? Didn't they say Jenny was the lead rapper? I don't know. I thought they did. But anyways, they both rap and they both go back and forth and they're both freaking awesome. All right, Lisa, you're the best. Let's go. Idol ever of YG Entertainment. The next revealed member was Kim Jisoo. The visual and I love the oldest all, member of the group. They okay, don't get mad at me. Just because I said Lisa's the best. She's my personal favorite. But I'm totally with you if you have any of the others as your favorite because they're all totally reeking of awesomeness. Okay? Just At 21 years old. And the last member of the group to be revealed was Pak Taeyang from Australia, more commonly known as Rose. Okay. the main vocalist. On June yes, 28, 2016, God, YG sing. finally revealed the name of the four-member group, Black Pink. Ooh. And in just less than two months, Black Pink rocked the world with their duo singles Boom Ba Ya and yep. Whistle. It was new, it was fresh, yeah. but also confident, Those are banging cocky, beats. and powerful. They never Thus, get old. finally bringing Black Pink to your area. Yep. Both Boom Ba Ya and <laughs> Whistle topped area. the charts. 14 days after debuting, they won their first music show award, the fastest a girl group had ever won a music Ooh. show award after debuting. Just three months later, they released Playing With Fire and Stay, 
And later in the year, yeah. they won five Rookie of the Year awards. Blackpink. 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 In just six short months, Blackpink had already become a legendary group. Fast forward to June of 2018, right, with just right. only five songs, Blackpink was already the second biggest girl group in K-pop. With then, only five they dropped songs, a song everybody. by the name of... Let that sink in a little bit. They only had five songs out. Yet they're winning all kinds of awards, and they're like the second best group on the go. With only five songs. What? Do -do -do -do. Little did they know, and little did the world know, that this song would be the catalyst that propelled Blackpink into international stardom. It was an instant sensation and became the most viewed yep. video in 24 hours in YouTube history. And eventually, wow. it became the most viewed K-pop group video of all time with 1.2 billion views. The song was addictive <laughs> and the choreography was yeah. viral. It debuted at number 55 on the Billboard 100, which at the time was the highest charting K-pop song ever by a girl group. In oh, fact, okay. they were the first K-pop girl group to make the chart since Wonder Girls in 2009. Their first mini oh, album, wow. Square Up, sold 320,000 units on Kaon, and at the time became the eighth best-selling Korean album of all time for a girl group. Okay, right out the gate. Their presence eventually caught the Winning eye of a certain of British rewards. singer by the name of Dua Lipa. This would eventually yep. spark a collab called Kiss and Make Up, which would once again chart on the Billboard 100. Ah, In October of okay. 2018, Blackpink Dua signed Lipa Interscope Records, rules. which is under a little company by the name of Universal Music Group, <laughs> the company. biggest music company in the world. And yep. it seemed like Blackpink was everywhere. They made appearances on the talk shows The Late Night Show with Stephen Colbert and Good Morning America. Then in March of 2019, they became the first K-pop girl group to ever graced the cover of Billboard magazine. Ooh, nice, so many awards. Later first, that year, first, they embarked on their... Ever, you can't, he's like, first, first ever do this, first ever do this, first ever do this. They have Sony first. Oh my God, who's ever gonna dethrone them? Nobody, that's it, that's right. In Your Area World Tour, which would eventually become the most successful world tour by a girl group of all time, grossing $37 million. Oh, jeez, okay. Their single, Kill This Love, dropped on April 5th, 2019, that was once again breaking video. the record for the highest charting K-pop girl group song, charting at 41. Their album, Kill This Love, would garner 380,000 sales in Gaon, becoming the seventh best-selling girl group album of all time. Ooh, okay. On April 12th, Blackpink went on to become the first K-pop girl group to ever perform at the Super Music Festival, Coachella. On April 22nd of 2020, okay. Blackpink collaborated with Lady Gaga to release the single yes. Sour Candy. This would once again break the record. You know, so I lost my Gaga over here. And when she dropped that Chromatica album, I freaked out. And then I'm like, oh my God, Gaga teaming up with Blackpink was like the greatest thing ever. For the highest charting K-pop girl group song, charting at number 33, on June 26th, Blackpink released their long-awaited single, How You Like That, and would go on to break like five that? Guinness World Records including Five the most viewed YouTube records. video ever in 24 Ooh. hours with 86.3 million views. Just eight hours later, the video went on to become the fastest video of all time to hit 100 million views. Six days later, it okay. broke 200 million views, the fastest video of all time to reach it. That Which leads insane. us to that today, crazy. August 28th. Blackpink's wow. newest single with none other than Selena Gomez. Everything Ooh, that Blackpink touches Gomez, turns yep. to gold. And there is no doubt that this next single will continue to elevate Blackpink to the zenith of K-pop history. And you notice that they keep they teamed up with um, like American singers, like U.S.-based singers, like Dua Lipa and Gaga and Selena Gomez, like sort of branching in this kind of side of the world as well. And they're like hitting that market, and then they're blowing up over here because they're just getting that little bit of exposure they need. Because there's a lot of people that don't like normally listen to K-pop, but then it's just like what I love Gaga or Gomez or Dua Lipa and they put that on they're like wait who's this group in here that's freaking killing it right then exposes them to damn and then boom way more views gotta love it collabs are huge black and pink concept a newcomer or even a veteran to k-pop will know after the first seconds of watching or listening to black pink immediately they'll get hit with that doo 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 this group is different <laughs> There's a certain power and energy that emanates from Blackpink's music and image. Yep. To reiterate the earlier question, other girl groups... Like, I've done a lot of K-pop stuff here, especially back when I first started the channel. Um, and I have to say, the Blackpink stood out to me. I've, I've said it a few times on the channel. No disrespect to the other groups. But there's nobody like Blackpink. They're my favorite. By far, when it comes to K-pop, they're number one. By far. Let's go. ...have done the girl crush concept, like 21... 
for four minutes. There have been other groups with the hip hop concept. Remember Evil? Remember Glam? Nope. Those groups have not even come close to what Blackpink has achieved in four short years. What okay. is their secret? How do they make the masses whistle like a missile? Hey, who are they? In 1998, K-pop was still in its early infancy. This new, exciting generation of music gave birth to some groups like SES with their vibrant love songs, Finkel okay. with their cute, energetic, sporty concepts, and last was a group by the name of Baby Vox. They combined elements of Western hip-hop with the brand new energetic K-pop, the original okay. Girl Crush. Together, these three okay, groups that dominated got, the like, radio an American vibe Sound to familiar? It, like American hip hop. Oh yeah, wait, I, I feel it. There we go. Oh, After the first okay. generation of K-pop came and went, another hip hop group was breaking records left and right. What is that now? Twenty-one. Expanding on the empire that Baby Fox built, they added another Earth layer of badassery and rebellious nature to their songs. 21 was changing the K-pop no, industry. And finally, like in 2016, song, Enter Player 3, Blackpink, who yeah. was almost a carbon copy of 21. In fact, YG himself stated that Blackpink was meant to be a copy-paste of 21. He did not want Blackpink to be any different at all, saying, what? I tried to make the YG version of a girl group like I did with 21, but this time I wanted the girls to look pretty too. Just like how oh, 21 built their foundation whoa, whoa, on Baby whoa, Fox's whoa. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. Back the truck up, everybody. Sweet merciful crap. Look at this quote. Come on now. I get you tried to copy and paste and make the same group, but this time I wanted to make sure that the girls were pretty. That's kind of an insult, don't you think? It's kind of a direct insult. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Whatever. This time, I wanted the girls to look pretty, too. Yeah. Just like how 21 built their foundation on Baby Fox's concept, Blackpink was once again evolving the concept of 21. So, what exactly is the Blackpink concept? Blackpink is the energetic hook and the exotic beats hitting your eardrums, the thumping Ooh, okay. bass and the blaring yeah. air horns, the combination of swag, hip-hop, badassery, and fire, a little bit of sexiness, a touch of glamour, Ooh. and a hint of female empowerment. Oh, yeah. A mix of dark black ferocity and a dash of bright pink pop sound. Oh, Jenny's power, okay, yeah. Jisoo's saccharine sound, Rose's yep. alluring vocals, and Lisa's lethal raps. Woo, this an is the Blackpink sound. Blackpink is not the first girl group to do a girl crush concept, and nope. they certainly won't be the last, but they I'm are sure. the greatest of all time to do it. I think so. I agree. Now, as much as I agree. the girls of Blackpink, Blackpink is so much more than just the girls themselves. There's a team of executives, of administrators, a team that makes music, a team that makes wardrobe, a team that choreographs, and of course, a team that makes big marketing decisions. Okay. Now, any great company or organization needs to have a solid marketing sure team recording. and great brand image. <laughs> but what exactly does brand image mean? Simply put, it's the customer's perception of a brand. What does a customer think when they see your brand? A perfect example is Apple. You see Apple and you already know what they're about. Yeah, they're sleek, true. they're futuristic, they're high yeah. tech, they're clean. You see mm -hmm. Nike, you think sports, speed, strength, inspiration. Shoes. Now that <laughs> is brand image. Out of all yeah. the groups in K-pop, Blackpink has the strongest brand image. There's a saying in marketing, okay. if you confuse, you lose. Meaning if the uh. consumer doesn't know what your product or service is about, you'll lose them. But one look at Blackpink, you don't even have to listen to their music, and you know what this group is about. You understand their image, their concept, mm -hmm. their music. You, okay. the consumer, already know all this way before Lisa even whispers Blackpink in your area. They're yeah, fierce, powerful, glamorous, they're hip-hop, they're girl crush. YG has carefully crafted Blackpink's image from the sound of their music to the color of their hair. We already discussed their music concept, yeah. but there's also the costume, the facial gestures, the makeup, the merch. Are they allowed to color their own hair, or have, do they have any creative control over how they look? Or does YG control every little aspect of them and their appearance? Comment below and let me know, please. The light stick, the teasers, the set, and props, even who they interact with and the events they attend are all part of their brand image 
As a result, Blackpink only attends VIP prominent events, and they Ooh. rarely attend events with other idols like music shows or even the ISACs. Oh, wow. YG has been infamous for this in the past, wanting his groups to appear exclusive, or as some haters uh. would say, YG wants Blackpink to appear as their better than the other groups. And no. there may be some truth to that. Blackpink wasn't meant to be Ooh. like the other groups. Right from the start, when he built this group, YG With was aiming for something bigger than just Korea. He wanted to dominate the whole entire world. Blackpink was built with that specific purpose in mind, built specifically as the group that would target the Western audience oh, and preferences. Precisely why this group. Where where do you at? Where do you at on here? Okay, yeah, Blackpink is up there. Twice, I know I've done a lot of twice, twice is big. Mamamoo, G Idol, yeah, okay. Was picked with three fluent English speakers, two Japanese speakers with the other two learning. Okay. and two speakers with basic Mandarin. This is to target the two biggest markets in the world and the most populated oh, country in okay. the world. The group is one of the nice. most skilled multilingual speaking groups in the industry. Lisa, at this point, is a walking Google Translate app. <laughs> There's four, she got four languages. Impressive. Huh? I only got one. Don't even know that one very good. You know that one there very good. See, see what this I mean. This next big marketing move will be referred to as the "as if it's your last" strategy. When Blackpink debuted in 2016, they had two singles. Then just three short months later, they came okay. back with the singles "Playing with Fire" and "Stay." And fans were excited because yep. it seemed yep, like yep, the yep, group yep, yep. was consistently coming out with new music. Yeah. Then seven months later, in June of 2017, "As go. if it's your last" hit the deck like pom pom pom. It was an exciting single with bright aesthetics and a hot beat, yeah. but that's all it was. A single, no album, no b-sides. Right. The name As If It's Your Last was truly a fitting name for Blackpink because it felt like, well, it was their last single. <laughs> and for the next year, the airwaves were silent. The fans were furious, annoyed, dejected, but most importantly, they were hungry. That's the problem. Yeah, I've heard that the whole time. Is like they got a, such a huge super fan base, but they're not putting out the music fast enough. Like other artists, comparatively, are like putting out one or two albums a year, or at least one album a year, like a full album a year, and they're like one single a year. Like, come on now. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, you gotta. I know. Do you want to make them a prestige? And they finally drop a track, and it's a huge deal. And I get that, the mystique of it all. But you gotta give fans. The fans are there. They want more. You gotta give them more, right? I think so. that's what I. Think. A lot of you guys are asking for a comeback. It's hard to ignore because it hurts my feelings. Mm. Just to read them and just ignore. I'm not ignoring guys. It's just that we are not too sure. So uh. I'm sorry. Don't mm. give up, guys. Let's not give up. Mm. Both of us. <laughs> The yeah, fans was... thirsted for any piece of Blackpink content they could find their hands on. Right. Rumors, mashups, fan art, YouTube theories, the reality TV show Blackpink House. <laughs> Finally, in June 2018, the famine was doubling Blackpink's entire discography from five to nine songs. And immediately, okay. Blackpink knocked that and got another banger. As mentioned earlier, Doodoo yeah. Doodoo became the most viewed video in 24 hours in YouTube history and eventually yeah. became the most viewed K-pop group video of all time with 1.2 billion Whew. views. The numbers. So it seemed like YG's strategy had worked. Here I have outlined a 100% foolproof YG plan. Step one, uh, okay. starve the fans for a year. <laughs> Step Jeez. two, tease them a little. Give them a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Step three, release. Drop the single that's too hot to handle. <laughs> and the last step is dominate the charts. Kill them and stack up my millions. Now, this is a risky strategy, Rambo. but in economics, this is called the scarcity principle. If there is very little okay. of a product, in other words, if a product or service is scarce, more people will deem it to be of high quality, uh, driving up demand. Okay. How many times have you seen advertisements that say, True. limited time offer or while supplies last? Scarcity yeah. creates demand. That's people want true. what they can't have. K-pop fans hate it, but it really is a genius yeah, move. As a fan, Other K-pop groups right? wouldn't be able to pull it off. K-pop groups depend on constant promotions and comebacks to create brands. When it comes to everything, like even if it's like um, like movies or whatever, like 
some people are like, you know, they just want they want more of the content. So like say for example, I don't know, Star Wars movies or something, right? And it's like, yeah, I want more content. Give me more Disney Plus shows. Give me more movies. Give me all the con Star Wars content you can. There's people that are like that. They don't care about the quality of it. They just want more of that content. But then there's others who want, like, they're willing to wait. They're willing to wait. Like, hey, if it takes two years to get a good quality, top-notch, the best that you can do for a particular movie or show, then that's what they, they're willing to wait, right? Sorry for the noise of the cat in the back of inside the door. <laughs> but anyways, um, and it's the same with them. They're just like, okay, well, we'll give them like one video a year and they'll go nuts over it, right? But like that video will be mind blowing. But I don't know. I don't know. You got to put it more. If you're in the music game, you got to be consistent though, I think. Brand awareness. But Blackpink's brand awareness stats are already maxed out at level 99. There isn't a K-pop fan alive who doesn't know who Blackpink is. So they're able to use this method That's to build true. demand. Additionally, YG built Blackpink with the intention of expanding globally, specifically westward. Yeah. I know for K-pop fans, a year break is a long time, but for western standards, a year would actually be considered a very fast comeback. Ed Sheeran usually has a 2-3 to three year break in between his albums. Pharrell hasn't released an album since 2014. Queen is still active and performing and going on tours, but they haven't released new music for uh -huh. 24 years. So with that perspective in mind, is one year really that long? Awesome so. screen, awesome camera, I long guess. lasting battery life. Hmm. That's one of those things when you're hot, when you're hot and you got you got all the fans behind you and you, you know you kinda wanna keep it going, right? Come on. Music choreography, a great marketing team, those are all great things to have. True. But what really draws people to Blackpink are the heroines of Blackpink themselves. Okay. Park Chaeyoung, Lalisa Manoban, Kim Jisoo, and Jenny Kim. Yep. Whether it be their charm, their personality, their story, or their amazing When it comes down talent, to it, it's there is about something them, right? about each of them that makes a fan want to follow them, yep. devote their life, or possibly even worship them. Okay. Lisa well, was born far, in 1997 yeah. with the name Prampriya Manoban in Thailand. Early in her childhood, she met with a fortune teller who <laughs> said she should change her name to Lalisa, as this ah. name would bring her immense luck. Ooh. And what does Lalisa actually okay. mean? Translation? The one who is praised. Whoa. Fast forward a decade later wow, and the okay. name could not be more true. She it's is the true. most popular global idol in the world by a huge margin. Yeah, I agree. On Instagram, she has 38 million followers, making her the 90th most followed account in the world. Ooh. Of the top 100 accounts, she had the most engagement with 21% of her audience engaging with Lisa. For comparison, the top 5 accounts, the official Instagram Ariana account Grande. of John Ronaldo, Ariana Grande, The Rock, the Rock. and Kylie Jenner, have an engagement of 1.55%. In 2019, she was the most searched and trending idol according to Google. Her star power was such that even her legs alone went viral all over the world. What? With people like Stephen Colbert, James Corden, <laughs> Lil Nas, and thousands of others parodying the meme. <laughs> really? People love Lisa. I didn't people see that. want that to be funny. Lisa. People praise Lisa. She's the best. I don't know. She's just so quirky and charismatic and fun, but she brings the attitude when she needs to. She can turn up from sweet to nasty. What is it about Lisa she needs that draws people to her? Look at you, now look at her. Well, first and foremost, she is the pinnacle of dancing prowess in the industry. Yeah, she was able to beat so out good. thousands of other hopefuls in Thailand at the 2010 YG auditions because she was the best dancer and best performer by miles and okay. miles. She is, she can be very, very sexy and very, very cute. She has perfect control of her body. She can take a move that would look awkward on anybody and make it look amazing. You watch her and all you want to do is dance. When she dances, true. you can see so that she true. has flame in her veins. Her dance is like crack. Every day she's styling, killing everything in her way she's wild in. Not only that, Lisa just has such a lovable personality. She's yep. funny, she's, she's great. cute, she's cheerful. She's just a ball of sunshine and optimism. <laughs> you can be sure that she'll be kicking down the door to everyone's heart <laughs> in your area. Yep. Rosie was born in 1997 in Auckland, New Zealand as Pak Chaeyoung. Okay. She later moved to Melbourne, Australia when she was 7 and spent most of her life there. Originally, Rosie did not believe that becoming a K-pop idol was Jeez, in the cards. Her father encouraged her to follow her dreams. Yeah, Did you those. audition for YG in Australia? Yes, like literally, like just an open audition. W why'd you do it? 
Because my dad told me to. <laughs> Rose stated, good in Australia, I didn't think that there was much of a chance for me to become a singer, especially to become a K-pop star. Oh, wow. I was living so far Share from the, the country devil. that it never really occurred to me as a possibility. Oh, true. And from day one, Rose was noted for her amazing good. golden vocals. In the 2012 auditions at Sydney, she beat out 700 other hopefuls, Ooh. placing first. Because of her unique voice as a 16-year-old, she was placed on a track called Without You with the okay. biggest name in K-pop at the time, G-Dragon. Since then, of oh, course, she's okay. debuted with Blackpink, captivating not only with her yep. prominent singing, but with her sweet charm, kind heart, and innocent wholesomeness. She has great vocals, too. When she, yeah, there. I didn't see this, but anytime she got a guitar. Oh. And then, there's never, Kim Jisoo. Never get tired All it takes is one thing. glance, so and good. immediately you're hit with her immaculate visuals. And yeah. you're not alone. That's what the talent scouts at YG yeah. notice about Jisoo. Recognized as being one of the greatest visuals in K-pop today, she's a model for <laughs> Kiss Me, Cartier, Burberry, she and of course, model. one of Dior's muses. All you wouldn't it. have guessed it by a first glance, but Jisoo is actually the comic relief of the group. In terms of variety <laughs> skills and humor, Jisoo is easily the best in the group. She's wacky, funny, and eccentric. In Korea, she's what's referred to as okay. having a 40 personality. She's a what complete goofball, which is what most fans <laughs> love about her. Whether it's just being a complete well, jokester, prankster, or balancing bottles, what's certain is that she won't be leaving fans bored. <laughs> she's just trying to have fun. Yeah. You just gotta have fun, you gotta My live life, you gotta so have fun. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> and her lastly, of course, is, is Jenny out of her chest. Many people are calling her the queen of K-pop. Despite Ooh. debuting just four years ago, ever since she was revealed as a trainee back in 2012, she has been making waves. It seemed like even as a trainee, Jenny was destined for greatness, yeah, making her first MV appearance in 2012 as a 16-year-old and then even joining him on stage later for Black Black. She was ah. easily the most popular female idol in Korea of 2019, topping the brand rankings. She earned first place 6 out of the 12 months. Recently, her solo song, fittingly named Solo, that was, was a, a monster that hit, was good. becoming the most viewed music video by a female artist with 500 million views. Many yep. people who know her personally describe her as being charming and sweet. On screen, she appears to be this fierce, powerful, bulletproof diva. But I was gonna say, whenever she doesn't come across that way in the music video, she comes across always because she got a stern face like that. Yeah, exactly where I paused it. You know, she got a stern face. She's very serious. She's kind of like attitude. But it's funny that they said she's such lighthearted and you know indifferent. She's very different when she's off camera. You know. But Pretty in cool. real life, she's actually a sweet softie. There you go. <laughs> Oh my, come on now, hold it together, keep it together now, my dear. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> and is the poster child of badass, of girl crush, of ferocity. She is the princess of YG, the human Chanel, the it girl of Korea. The person okay. everyone loves to hate. Some look at her with envy, while others look at her with admiration. Some people hate her, many people Ooh. love her, but everybody Who hates knows her. her. Everybody knows her. And together, uh, they've become gonna the, be most haters powerful there, that's all and the most hyped girl group in K-pop history. The world is theirs for the taking. Everywhere they show up, blows up. Currently, True. YG is sitting on the biggest gold mine in K-pop history. Yeah. Their potential is limitless. YG just needs to play his cards right, and currently, he has a royal flush, but hmm. he actually needs to play them yeah. and let the girls of Blackpink shine. Blackpink recently hit things. their four-year anniversary a couple days ago, and today, they've only had 17 songs, and I know that's frustrating for a that's lot of crazy. boys who are just done with waiting. A lot of people have 17 tracks on one album. And when the night gets dark, let them beer fire. Whew. Yeah, a lot of debut albums come out with 17 tracks on them. But, you know what? They haven't seen the last of them. They'll be back. And then 
they do, they're gonna rock the world again. Are they secretly working on projects on them? All right, everybody getting a history lesson in Blackpink. How friggin' awesome is that, hey? I, oh my, that was great. That gave me a lot more information that I didn't know. It let me guide me through the whole, their whole career, their whole tour, a little bit of backstory on each of the singers, everything about it. I friggin' loved it. Great, I mean, I can't wait for it to come back. Didn't need to drop more music. Either way, comment below, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if there's any Blackpink material that I've not done yet, and I'll jump on it as soon as I can. Peace and love, oh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Peace and love, everybody. Peace, 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 see you later. Take care, bye-bye.